All right, so I'm at the Orville Library. It's um, Valentine's Day, and it's um, 2 14 2020. Um, I'm returning a book that I didn't get to read, but I read a couple poems. I read one poem, really, and uh, but I, it's Walt Whitman, and I didn't really. I wanted to read that poem, but then I got through, I started getting through it, and I was kind of like, oh man, that's too much. Uh, so the guy, I thought it was Ernest Hemingway. I got Ernest Hemingway and Walt Whitman confused when I was checking out their biographies and their names. So I'm a fan of Ernest Hemingway because of the old man in the sea. Um, but so I wanted to read this guy, and it's actually pretty good. The guy's pretty good, and he's a poet so I didn't know he was a poet so I'm gonna I want to read one of his poems before I return this book um, like I said I don't know too much about him so I'm not sure the one that I just read what was it called a woman waits for me is pretty racy is uh, is I don't know a better uh, verb for that adjective adjective verb. Um, so I want to read one at least, so let's read this one. On the beach at night alone, right? On the beach at night alone, as the old mother sways her to and fro, singing her husky song. As I watch the bright stars shining, I think a thought of the cleft of the universes and of the future. A vast similitude interlocks all. All spheres grown, ungrown, small, large, Suns, moon, planets, comets, asteroids. All the substances of the same and all of it is spiritual upon the same. All distances of place, however wide. All distances of time. All inanimate forms. All souls, all living bodies, though they be ever so different, are in different worlds. As gaseous, watery, vegetable, mineral processes, the fishes, the brutes, all men and women, me also, all nations, colors, barbarians, barbarisms, civilizations, languages, all identities that have existed or may exist on this globe or any globe, all lives and deaths, all of the past, present, future. This vast similitude spans them and always has spanned and spanned and shall forever span them and completely hold them and enclose them. That's a good poem right there. I think that was it. Okay, so that was cool. That's good. That was, a uh, you know, something simple and, uh, you know, for everyone so good good poet man that last one I didn't read till right now and damn that was freaking everything I wanted to say so uh, so yeah poets are important I love books I'm glad that I that I took a time to read that for this blog so I didn't finish the four agreements because you know it's copywritten material and and, and I think I read like half the book, so so I'm going to continue doing these. But uh, I want to, you know, respect the authors, and if you like the work or whatever, I'm just promoting it and uh, putting my two cents in there, and and that's it. So uh, peace out, late.